Darksville Town was a calm and warm place. But sometimes towns change, and this was the case. One night occurred the strangest thing so far. On Darksville landed a fallen star. The townspeople saw this, and their surprise was big. Inside the fallen star was a demon baby named Sid. He was special, not like the average kid, with a creepy look and always chaos amid. Each year that passed, he showed without rest that his demon nature was on manifest. Mischievous, chaotic, always causing pain, the problems of others for him were a game. He grew with time, and something I can say is that when evil starts, only evil will stay. Here is when Sid's adventure starts to extend. But just keep in mind, he doesn't have a happy end. Ah, another wonderful night to be a demon, isn't it, Mr. Buttons? Oh, I agree. Now let's see what's on the agenda of evil tonight. Let's see. Uh, here it is, Wednesday the 7th. Sneak up on the Heymanson's daughter and cut her braid. Check. Already did that last week. Doubt it's grown back. Create an army of giant mutant chickens to terrorize the farm. Eh, that one didn't quite work out last time. The villagers managed to kill all the chickens and use the excess meat to feed the kids at the orphanage. Hungry little bastards. So let's just skip that until I perfect a non-edible cyborg chicken or something. Make Miss Barbara's pies go sour. Mmm, better not. I'm starting to think that old bat's developed a taste for sour pies. I swear she's playing me. Feed laxative-laced birdseed to the local pigeons so they wreak havoc on town. All right, yeah, that one sounds pretty great. Surrender, Sid. Your nights of evilness are over. What's that? Sounds like Dan Teapot yelling at my door again. This time it is over. For realties. There's no escape from this one. None of your tricks will save you. No more Sid the Demon terrorizing the town. Yep, that's Dan. I'd better get rid of him quickly. Who knows what annoyances that nagging insect is cooking up.
It's the ultimate guide to giving toasts. It's a really long book, but it gives good advice. My toasts are so much better now. It's the ultimate guide to giving toasts. It's a really... My toast... He's my best friend, Mr. Buttons. He's very silent today. Sometimes he gets grumpy. That's my super comfy bed. Well, it isn't that comfy, but at least it's a bed. A wonderful night to be evil. It's broken. I removed the cuckoo to make a homing missile a long time ago. Now it's just full of cogs and gears. It's my bed lamp. Hi, handsome. They're the socks I was looking for last night. I don't want them now. And I don't know why I wanted them then. They smell. It's the door to my bathroom. I locked it because I have problems sleeping if it's not nice and secured. I, uh, I'm afraid of the toilet monster. What? You never heard of it? That's probably because it's a product of my imagination. I know. I have problems. Some of my favorite books. How to be an evil mastermind in only 12 easy steps. Doom and Destruction. And the Three Little Piggies. It's my nightstand, with a drawer full of evil plans. And my diary, also full of evil plans. It's my hook-shaped cane. I generally use it to ruin the school musicals by yanking kids off the stage with it. It's a lonely, lonely sock. Where is your pear, my friend? It's my lovely fish, Domingo. He knows how to do some cool tricks, like act like a fish or splash, but usually it's super ineffective. It's broken. The tires are flat and everything else is rusty. In these drawers, I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions. It perfectly captures Mr. Button's personality. It's the door that leads to my kitchen. The door is closed. I locked a giant rat inside. It's a mountain. So scenic. That lever releases the wolves. Ah, so many lovely memories tied to this thing. It activates the trap door that is outside my castle. It's very useful when Girl Scouts are selling cookies. What? Don't give me that look. I just want some cookies and they always run away when I answer the door. The basement door is locked.
Dan Teapot is holding the door from the other side. I should talk to him. Dan... Don't try anything funny, demon. Today your evil existence ends. You are not going out. I will trap you inside your castle. Isn't it a little past your bedtime, Danny boy? First of all, it's never too late for me. I am the relentless protector of Darkestville. It's 11 p.m. 11 p.m. already? On a Wednesday? Oh, gosh. Well, maybe it's a little late, but I'm on a mission, so I will stay. No matter what. Did you notice that you're blocking the entrance to my castle? I know. It's a part of my brilliant plan to end your demonic deeds. How many times have we been through this? 146 times. 147 if we count the time you dressed as a girl in order to seduce a giant monkey to turn it against me. Lady Danina and I are not the same person. She's a long lost charming absolutely female cousin. You don't have any uncles or aunts. Exactly. That's why she was lost in the first place. Why don't you go away? I have diabolical schemes to follow. Ha! <laughs> Forget it. Your nights of evil deeds are over. You're not leaving this place. Nuh-uh. Leave this place before I hurt you in vague but unpleasant ways. You can't hurt me. You're locked inside your castle. You do realize that you're standing on a big trap door with an X on it. Ha! <laughs> do you take me for a fool? I already sabotaged the trap door mechanism and locked the basement door. And you can't repair it. Give me the basement key. No. Oh, come on, open that door. Nah, -uh. no way. Tonight your villainous legacy ends. Which key did you use to lock the basement door? This one. Thanks. Hey, that was my key. Ah, I don't care. You can't fix the mechs I made down there anyway. This trap door is still useless. Let's see about that. Do you have the missing part of the trapdoor mechanism? I will not fall for that again. Today is your end. You are not leaving this place. What is your plan? Starve me to death? Because I have plenty of food here. I'm not telling you. Ah, forget it. You will never leave this castle again. I can't reach him. He's inside his tank. Hi, Domingo. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy, Domingo? You are. Yeah, you're a good boy. It activates the trap door that is outside my castle. It's very useful. What? I just want... I can't talk to that. This isn't working. I should check the engine in the basement. To open it, I'll need the basement key. This will drop an anvil onto the unsuspecting prisoner. Isn't that fun? Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. There I archive all my taxes and expenses. I'm evil, but I'm organized. Hi, Waldo. How are you today? Talkative as always. Hey, I found Waldo. And he is dead. The skeleton is stuck in jail. The mechanism is simple. Someone steps over the trap. The mechanism is simple. Someone steps over the trap door, I activate the trap door lever, and the dope falls through a system of pipes to end up in this jail. I can't talk to that. I'd rather not wipe this off. A not quite finished cyborg chicken. It still needs a soul in the soul slot to work. 
if my theory is correct. It's too heavy to carry around. I can't talk to... It's my research about cybernetic ducks. Turns out, cybernetic ducks are a horrible idea. That's why I'm building a cybernetic chicken. It's the key for my bathroom. How did this end up here? I'm happy to have the key to my bathroom. It would be terrible to be locked at home without the bathroom available. I must have left this here after working on the inner circuits of the cybernetic chicken. I should be more careful where I leave my tools. Carob wooden boards. I love the wooden smell. They are too heavy to carry around. There used to be a sandwich inside. It's empty. I think Dan stole my sandwich. Jackass. Old evil plans and research about a variety of things is inside those boxes alongside my old toys. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. The chain and some cogs are missing. This will drop... It's super rusty and dry. I don't think in this state I could use it for anything besides spreading tetanus. To the inventory you go. I'd rather not open it. The giant rat could escape and bite me. What? You want to stay in the bedroom? He wants to stay in the bedroom. Hey, Mr. Buttons, want to chat? What? You're not in the mood? He's not in the mood. The door is locked. Lo it's a regular bathroom tap. How the hell did that end up here? Is that even physically possible? It's a treasure chest, and it contains the treasure of storing dirty clothes in an organized way. The true frozen throne. I read them when I don't have anything else to do. Non-abrasive soap for my delicate skin. Now I can wash my hands properly. I already read those. The towel is oily. It's stuck with something at the bottom of the bathtub. It's full of oil. See, I was expecting this shipment of penguins that I planned on oiling up and releasing back into the wild, but they never showed up. It's locked and glued with some kind of sticky stuff. It's glued shut and I can't pry it open. Maybe if I had some kind of abrasive substance or another. I can't talk. It's me. I can't talk to that. It's stuck with something at the bottom of the bathtub. It's full of oil. See, I was exp- I'd prefer to keep my hands clean. Non-abrasive soap for my delicate skin. 
It's super rusty and dry. I should put this in a multi-bit screwdriver to use it. It's just one. I don't want just one sock. It's broken. I removed the cuckoo to make a homing missile a long time ago. Now it's just full of cogs and gears. The lid is screwed to the clock. I can't open it with my bare hands. I need to put this in a screwdriver to be... I'd rather not open it. In these drawers, I used to store all sorts of useful gadget... I used to store all sorts of useful gadgets and inventions in here. Nonetheless, the only thing I found inside that is not broken or useless is this multi-bit screwdriver. With no bits at all. Now I have a fully functional screwdriver. The lid is screwed to the clock. I can't. Don't worry, it was already broken. A bunch of big cogs. I hope I didn't just void the warranty on this thing. It's broken. I removed the cuckoo to make- now it's just- Nothing here seems useful. I don't want anything from there. I already read those. A gentleman has no class if he doesn't have his cane. It's my hook-shaped cane. I generally use it to ruin the school musicals by yanking kids off the stage with it. I would love to terrorize the town as the demon bike rider again, but this bicycle is beyond repair. Dan Teapot is holding the door from the other side. He is stronger than he looks and could steal this from me. I better keep my stuff at a safe distance. I... Ah, forget it. You will never leave this castle again. Dan Teapot has vandalized the door mechanism. Perfect. The chain fits, but it's going to need some lubricant. It's way too rusty as is. It sounds like it would make sense because soap is slippery, but trust me, really, it makes a terrible lubricant. I should use some kind of oil for this chain.
Now it's properly lubed. Heh. <laughs> Lube. That doesn't need to be slippery. It's locked and glued with some... It's glued shut and I can't pry it open. Now it's properly lubed. Heh. <laughs> Lube. Presto. Dan Teapot is holding the... Ah, forget you will... Hey, Dan, let me out. Ha! You'll never be able to... Ah! Hi, Dan. Would you care to explain this whole trapping me in my castle business now? Ha ha! You think you've defeated me, but I've won. Fascinating. I find your claims tenuous at best coming from inside of a jail cell. I have delayed you enough here. They are already in town. There's no escape now. Who are they, and why would I want to escape from them? Have you been sneaking mushrooms out of my gardens again? I told you those are for my alchemical experiments. You don't get it, do you? Nope. No idea what you're talking about. I've hired the Romero brothers. The most infamous demon hunters alive are coming for you. They've long been here by now. There is truly no escape for you. They'll track and hunt you down. They are the best of the best. I've kept you from getting a head start on Flea. Like I said, I win. You're done. Oh, come on, you moron. Don't you realize that it's the villain who's supposed to give their whole plan away with overly detailed monologues? You've gone and messed up our whole dynamic. You don't get it? The Romero brothers are the best, and they will never... <coughs> Silence truly is golden. Now then, let's analyze this little situation I found myself in. A team of demon hunters are, well, hunting me. It's kind of flattering that the so-called best of the best are after me, oh my. Well, if these Romero brothers want a war, then I'm going on the offensive. I'll need to go downtown to check them out. And give them a warm welcome to Darkest Hill. <laughs> but, uh... I should probably quit wasting time with maniacal laughter and get going. I've got a lot of work to do after all. So I'll make a neutron bomb and hide it inside a cheesecake. No, 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 no. That's really impractical. I don't have enough cheese. Good evening, little fellow. Is that Darkestville Castle? What? What kind of question is that? You're in Darkestville and that's the only castle. Now, please mind your own business. I'm really busy right now. Okay, team. You hear the man. The demon should be trapped inside. Let's do our job. To the hunt! What was I saying? Ah, yes. So let's discard the Neutron Bomb Cheesecake. What about a Neutron Bomb inside an apple pie? What am I thinking? With that giant rat inside the kitchen, I can't bake anything. Okay, all the plans involving cooking are null. Man, that's like half my repertoire. The job is done, sir. That demon is now inside our prison chest. It won't be bothering you again. We received your payment in the last letter, so I think that's all. Goodbye, and thank you for hiring the Romero brothers. Wait, what? The Romero brothers? They didn't recognize me! 
Ah, uh, once again, my wit and... Wait a minute. My castle? What were they doing there? Domingo! They took him away! My lovely fish, Domingo! No one messes with you! Now this is personal! Here used to be my lovely fish, Domingo. I don't want to cut my hand with the broken shards. I can't talk to that. He is still stunned. What a weakling. It was just a small anvil. Hello? Dan? He is out. As usual, he has nothing in his pockets. Not even his lunch money. He's already stunned. Oh, okay, just one more time. It's the door that leads to my... I'd rather not open it. On closer inspection... Release the wolves! <laughs> um... Shouldn't there be a bunch of screaming, howling, and general chaos right about now? Wait, probably has something to do with the fact that I forgot to feed the wolves throughout the entirety of winter. Whoopsie. Throwing this at the dumpster. An iron rod. And an almost eaten biology book. Mr. Buttons will have to give me a good explanation about this. It's an iron rod. You never know when you're going to need an iron rod. Maintaining a mushroom garden in good shape is harder than you would expect, but gardening is one of my favorite activities. Besides ruining other people's lives, of course. Oh, don't be silly. It's not harvesting season yet. Those mushrooms are still green. I can't talk to that.
It's a statue of the founder of the town. I made an artistic intervention on it. He looks much cooler now. It's solid rock. I can't move it. I can't talk to that. It looks like some kind of insomniac pigeon. I can't reach it. What are you doing awake at this time of night, little fellow? I see. You have a night owl complex. It's our local hobo, Jeffrey Badsock. He's pretty useful. I've tried all kinds of potions on him ever since I was a little demon. Hello! I'm Sid, the demon of Darkestville. Jeffrey Badsock is not drunk enough to know who you are, Sid. I've known you since you were five. Remember that time when you were chasing the town kids with your little flamethrower? And you ended up crying because it ran out of fuel? Yeah! But someone gave me his alcohol so I could have fun with my flamethrower again. Oh, well, that's something any decent person would have done. You were so small and you looked so sad. Hey, you remember that time when you were zapping people with a big blue laser gun? Everyone was running so scared. I remember it as if it were yesterday. In fact, it was yesterday. Really? Some things never change. What are you drinking? Oh, this. It's glue solvent. It may not be as good as an old red wine, but it's not that bad. What does it taste like? Awful, but it's still better than water. Can I have some of your glue solvent? Uh-uh. If I give it to you, then what will I drink? Why do you always want random items from other people? Are you still turning into a giant purple monster every time you sneeze? Nope. Luckily, the side effects of that thing you gave me to drink faded away. But hey, if you have any more of those flasks, just keep sending them over. That thing was delicious. Did you see anything unusual tonight? I don't recall anything unusual. But maybe a drink will refresh my memory. Look, look, look. Nope, it did not. And now I see everything in black and white. Goodbye. Goodbye, champ. I don't want to touch him. He smells terrible. I used to collect these things, but then I found out I'm allergic to the cheap alloy they're made of. It's a huge treasure chest. I wonder what is inside. It's too heavy for me to move it. I cast a gypsy curse on it a few nights ago. The next person who lifts it will turn into a hideous pig. I prefer not to touch it. I don't want to have a horrible disfiguring gypsy curse. Once I played a prank on the local kids with something like this. I put a candy container on the street, but instead of normal candies, I left a bunch of salt-coated ones. <laughs> also, I put an anti-personnel landmine below it. The explosion left little Timothy without eyebrows for a few weeks. Yuck. Those candies are too sticky and dirty to carry around. They will mess up my inventory. It's a pretty inaccurate portrait of the mayor of Darkestville. I already checked that. There's no strong box behind that painting and no, I don't want to steal this horrible painting. Here, the mayor stores his booze. The cabinet was depleted for redecoration. Oh, wait a minute. They forgot this bottle of 25-year-old whiskey. Interesting. A bottle of fine 25-year-old whiskey. 
she's Mrs. Johnson, the mayor's secretary. She may look inoffensive, but she swings her umbrella really hard for a woman of her age. Hey, I can hear you. What are you saying about my age? Nothing. I don't think it's a good moment to start a fight. Good evening, Mrs. Johnson. Good evening, Sid. May I talk with the mayor? Do you have an appointment? Mmm, yep. Oh, really? Let me check that in the mayor's agenda. No, you haven't. You know, Sid, today was a really long day. Why don't you go play your pranks on someone else? My pranks? My pranks? Please don't insult me, woman. I don't play pranks. I do evil deeds of demonic proportions. Oh, I didn't mean to insult you, honey. But could you go to do your things outside? I heard that Mr. Martinez got a brand new doorbell. I hope no one goes to play Ding Dong Ditch at him. Ding Dong Ditch? Are you suggesting that I use my evil genius to play that childish game? What is that big chest doing inside the mayor's house? It's from the three strangers that arrived in town today. They are called the Ramiro brothers. I hear they are demon hunters. If I were you, I would be hiding until they go. What is the mayor doing? He is talking with one of the Ramiro brothers, a woman. I think her name was Foxy. What a name! And why do they call themselves the Ramiro brothers if there is a woman in the group? It should be the Ramiro siblings. I don't know. Maybe it's a marketing thing? I don't know. Maybe. I dare you to lift that big trophy over there. I will not lift that. Why? You cast a gypsy curse on it. What? How do you know? I was here the night you did it. Don't you remember? You even asked me for a black candle and four pistachios. Oh. Yeah, I recall now. By the way, uh, do you have any more useful items to lend me? Like a lockpick, a pair of scissors, or a sniper rifle? No. And go do your stuff somewhere else. Good night, Mrs. Johnson. We'll talk later. Good night, my dear. It's the door that leads to the mayor's office. I can't talk to that. The door is locked. There's where the mayor stores some of his hunting records and some hunting trophies. Those trophies are covered in dust. I don't want to be sneezing the rest of the night. This area is under maintenance. Wow, this is one of the finest 25-year-old whiskeys ever made. My glue sovereign tasted like poison in comparison to this. Thanks. It's a bottle of glue solvent. As the name indicates, this substance is useful for dissolving glue. Presto! That glue solvent works really quickly. I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, 
That's probably what glued the cabinet door on in the first place. Things made with evil goo are so hard to manage. I thought I had my... Things made... It's already open. I can't talk to that. It's already open. I thought I had my homemade medicine inside. Now that I think about it, that's probably things made with evil goo. It's full of oil. See, I was expecting, but... That doesn't need to be slippery. Creative, but no. I don't think so. I can't use the cane with that. 